Hey guys, Shinny here, and today I have an extremely long, extremely lengthy June TBR for you. It's extremely long and it's extremely, extremely early. And the reason it's early is because I decided to carry on my buddy reading opportunities for this month and I wanted to give you guys enough time to make a decision or read the first book in a series if you really want to read the sequel with me. And just to get it done ahead of time in general so I'm not rushing at the last second because I'm going to be crammed with exam reviews at the end of this month. And I just know that I'm not going to have time to be planning it. But now everything's planned so I don't have to worry about it. So there are a lot of books here so without further ado I'm just going to hop right into this because there are 13 books and none of them are short. <laughs> So the first book I'm going to be reading in the month of June is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass. This is book four in the Throne of Glass series, which centers around our main character, Selena Sardothian, who is the world's most renowned assassin. Um, she ends up getting bro uh, broken out of these, um, basically, prisons and gets, t gets selected to be um, a competitor, to be the king's champion. Um, so she has to defeat... 23 enemies um, to become the king's champion and ultimately earn her freedom. Only that her competitors start dying and if she wants to earn her freedom she also has to fight for her survival. And so that's what Throne of Glass is about and this just continues. It's a doozy. This one's 645 pages. I'm reading uh, Air of Fire right now actually. So this is book four and I will be getting to this. So... That's book number one. I don't know where to put these, like, wow. So, the second book that I will be reading in June is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. This is actually a reread for me. Um, I am rereading the series because, well, it was on my top series I want to reread in 2017, but also because I didn't realize that a fourth book in this series was coming out. So Map of Days is coming out this October, and I really want to reread the series before I get to that. But basically, the center is around a boy named Jacob, who, after losing his grandpa, travels to this island where his grandpa has been talking about things and discovers these peculiar... Well, first off, he finds these pictures in his grandpa's things of all these peculiar oddities and children... And he goes to the island of Wales and discovers they may not be fake or photoshopped pictures after all. And that those children might actually exist. Um, they were more than just peculiar. They were quarantined and deserted on an island. And they, be, and they may still be alive. So I'm really excited to get to reread that again because I've been wanting to <sighs> for a while. And then just seeing that map of days is coming out after thinking that. Um, Library of Souls was the end was like wow heck yeah so the next book I want to get to in June is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken this is kind of an, a dystopian set after um, oh what is it called there was a disease that killed off most of America's children however not all of the children died and the ones that um, survived were quarantined because they are now um, they p now possess this supernatural ability. All of them have different powers because they were somehow not killed off by this disease. So they get basically put in concentration camps to, um, eliminate all the children with these abilities. And yeah, um, I've been wanting to get to this for a while, but I particularly want to get to it now because the movie is coming out soon and I really want to get to the book before I read the, before I watch the movie. So the next book is also re read for me, and that is Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. This is um, a fairy tale retelling, kind of, yeah. So basically this centers on a girl named Amy Gum, who, after a tornado, gets swept up into the cyclone with her pet rat star and gets transported to Oz, only it's not the Oz she knows. Everything is dark, everything is gloomy, everybody's unhappy, and that is because... Dorothy found a way to get back to Oz. She became a tyrant and she ruined Oz, took all the magic right out of it to keep for herself and make her more powerful. And so she basically ruined Oz. So she gets set up with a mission to remove the Tin Woman Man's heart, steal the Scarecrow's brain, take the Lion's Courage, 
and then Dorothy must die. And it's amazing. I love this series so much. I actually did a book re book report on this book and I turned it in two weeks early. And my teacher gave me like 10 points extra credit because she's like, wow, you finished that book so fast. And I'm like, yep, I did. Finished this book in like three days and I'm so excited to, to delve back into it. Because I've just been wanting to reread it for a while. I really miss that world. So the next book <clears throat> is actually another reread for me. And that is Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. This is book two in the Heroes of Olympus series. Which is a spin-off to the Percy Jackson and the Olympians books. So I can't go into too much depth about this. But you know Percy Jackson. Sometimes around an ADHD kid with... You know, he turns out to be a demigod to one of the Greek gods and he goes on all these cool quests to do stuff for the gods and it's super awesome. The Heroes of Olympus adds six more characters and it's just epic. I love it so much. It keeps the main characters but it also adds new ones and I just love it so much. And I've been wanting to reread these for a while, but I just haven't had the time. So now with my schedule where I'm actually forcing myself to incorporate rereads, I have time now. So I just really wanted to delve back into the Heroes of Olympus world because it's been a hot second since I did that. And I haven't really reread Sun of Neptune or Lost Hero, but I really want to. So now I can. So the next book I'm going to be reading in June is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. As you guys may know, um, for the past two months, and by two months I mean April and May, I've been making my way through the Grisha Trilogy by Leigh Bardugo and because I wanted to read the Grisha Trilogy before getting to Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Um, because this deals with the Grisha and like that, not the Grisha in particular, but it deals with that world. And so having the background information that Shadow and Bone gives you, um, it just makes this a uh, more easier to understand read, so I've heard. But basically, all I know about this is that this is a heist between seven outcasts. And yeah, they perform a heist on the most well-protected thing ever. Yep. Yeah, it's a heist. And everybody raves about this series, but I don't know. I really want to read it, and I love it. It's so pretty. I love it so much, but yeah. So the next book I'm getting to is actually the book that I picked from Danielle's list of books that she picked. Okay, it's confusing. But basically, my friend Danielle and I, who um, we buddy read the Aqua War and Aqua Fast together this month, um... We decided that we got along so well that we were going to do buddy reads every month. And so uh, she picked five books and I picked five books. And I picked a book from her five and she picked a book from my five. And the one that she picked that I picked from her was Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Um, all I know about this is that it's Faye and that it's about a human set in the Faye world after like her parents are killed or something like that. And I don't actually know anything about this book and I've heard so many good reviews on this book but I tried to get into it once but it didn't work so I'm hoping that actually the way I've been scheduling lately and like doing a buddy read will help me work my way through this better um yeah so that's what all I know about Cruel Prince is that it's about a very cruel prince fey prince yeah that's a good summary so, the next book that I have on my list is, I don't actually remember what order these go in, but Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. This is book two in the Lunar Chronicles. All of these are kind of fairy tale spinoffs. Book one is called Cinder, and it's a spinoff of Cinder, it's kind of like a retelling of Cinderella. This is obviously a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. Book three is a retelling of Rapunzel, and book four is a retelling of Sleeping, not Sleeping Beauty, um, Snow White, I think. It could be Sleeping Beauty. But anyways, these are like sci-fi, um, robotic, dystopian spinoffs of fairy tales, and it's so cool. But, um, I can't really go into too much depth about Scarlet because it is the sequel book, but Cinder is basically about this cyborg mechanic named Cinder, who, um, 
she is the most well-known mechanic in New Beijing. And so she's in the marketplace fixing stuff. And then one day the prince comes up to her. The prince, I think, um, prince, maybe, yeah, prince. Oh, I read that wrong. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so the prince, prince Kai comes up to her and asks her to fix something that she suspects there's more going on and yada 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 so she fixes this thing then the plague breaks out her sister ends up getting infected her stepmother blames cinder for it so she sends cinder to her death to be experimented on to find a cure for the plague and i don't actually remember what happens after that but it's pretty good it's really good guys and this is a spin-off and this is the sequel and yeah, you should check it out. I've been meaning to get to that book for a while since I read Cinder like six months ago or something like that. Something outrageous. It was actually longer than that ago. I think it was like a year ago. Yeah, I read Cinder like a year ago. I read it like last June. Wow. So the next book I want to get to is Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. I really, really, really loved Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. And when I saw that she was coming out with this book, I read the the premise for it, and I'm like, wow, that sounds phenomenal. But basically, this is about a girl named Ramona Blue who um, was five years old when Hurricane Katrina changed her life. Um, it's been her and her family against the world. Um, she's one of the only lesbians in her small town, and she's like six feet tall, and she has blue hair. So she's like a walking, like, spotlight. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has. She lives in a trailer in Mississippi. She's destined for something bigger. Bigger. She's juggling multiple jobs. Her mom is flaky, and her ineffectual dad forces her to be the adult of the family. Her sister is actually pregnant, and her responsibility and all the responsibilities of the ho household fall onto her. Um, one of her childhood friends, named Freddie, um, returns to the town, and they end up picking up their friendship. Um, as competitive swimmers and she ends up falling in love with swimming and ends up getting feelings for this best friend of hers and overall it just sounds like one of those cutesy stories that also deals with some darker topics not darker but like socially frowned upon like Dumplin' centers on a very oh, severely overweight girl and this centers on a girl who is six feet tall and lesbian with colored hair. So obviously, both are stereotypes in today's society that need to be addressed. And I loved Julie Murphy for doing that with Dumplin'. And I can't wait to see how she's going to do with this. And I'm so excited to get to this. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, need that in my hands. Whew, my throat is getting sore. So the next book I have is This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab. This was one of my top five picks that Danielle picked for us to read this month. So this is her pick of my pick. It's so confusing when I try to say it out loud. But I actually don't know the actual synopsis of this. But basically I think it's about two different leaders in this city. One is like a human leader and the other is like a monster leader. Yeah, their city is divided between humans and monsters and one like wants to be a ruthless leader and the other one doesn't want to be a ruthless leader even though he's the monster and apparently I think you can like oh yeah you can steal souls with a song and it's like yeah I'm super excited to get to it. I've been wanting to get you this for a while but I just I don't even know I've never picked it up and I know I'm like a broken record with you guys saying that but it's okay um, so, the next book on my TBR for the month of June is, just kidding, oh, my pile just fell down, oh, that makes me want to cry, hate life, we're gonna try not to move that much, the next book on my pile for June is The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. This centers on a girl who was, like, good at everything. She was good at high school. She was a very popular girl, but her brother's best friend ends up raping her. 
and her life was originally simple and now it's complex. She used to love things and that she now hates. Everything to her becomes a lie. Nothing makes sense. She's supposed to tell somebody, but she doesn't. Instead, she just buries it all. And the story is told in four parts, which is her freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. And it demonstrates the young woman's strength as she navigates the disappointment and unbearable pains of adolescence, a first love, and first heartbreak. And I've been wanting to read this book for a while. Like, this has been on my radar for, like, a year. But then Emma Books picked this up, like, a couple weeks ago, and she read it. And I was watching either her Snapchat story or... Not her Snapchat. I think it was her Instagram story. Yeah, it was her Instagram story and her Twitter threads about how hard she was crying over this book. And that it was, like, such a good story. And now I'm like, okay, okay, we're gonna put that right on Jenna's June TBR pile. The books are gonna fall again! I... Okay, the stack is getting bigger. Next book I plan to read in the month of June is Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. This is a historical fiction set in... I don't remember what year. I don't remember what year. It's like... I don't freaking remember. There's no years. It's in like the 1900s when one of the first circuses has come about. And it's about this guy who... he. I'm going based off the movie. Okay. So this kid is in vet school and he's about to take his final exam to become a vet. But then his parents end up getting in a car accident. So he drops out of school and joins the circus. Becomes their like vet thing. Then they get an elephant and he falls in love with the ringmaster's girlfriend or wife or whatever. And they bond over this elephant. And oh my god, I love the movie. It's got Rob Patterson, Rob Pattinson, and Reese Witherspoon in it. And I actually don't know if that's what the book is about. But there isn't actually like a premise for this. So that's what I'm going based off of. And I also ordered the movie off of Thrift Books that I should be getting this weekend. So I'm super pumped about that because after I read the book, I can watch the movie. <sighs> so the final book I plan to read in the month of June is Scythe by Neil Shusterman. This is a book, this is like a dystopian, utopian dystopian book about the world finally becoming perfect. Like there's no starvation, there's no death, there's no poverty, there's nothing wrong with the world. Everything is finally perfect, which means there's no death. So what happens in this world is that they create these people known as scythes whose job is to literally kill people when they start getting overpopulated. So they just kill people when their time comes. They're kind of like the fates. And yeah, I don't know much about it other than that. They must master the art of taking life knowing the consequence of failure can mean losing their own. Ah, uh, yeah, no hunger, no disease, no war, no misery. Humanity has conquered all those things and even conquered death. Scythes are the only ones who can end life. And, yeah. So. Ugh. Ugh. This is my June TBR. I realize it looks very daunting because it is. But. I'm holding true to the faith that I believe I can do it. So. Here's my broken record once again. All of these books are up for buddy reading grabs. As you know, I'm already reading The Savage Song and The Cruel Prince with Danielle. Um, but I will have a Google Doc linked down below. All you have to do is put in your name um, with the book that you wish to read with me. And just shoot me a message either on email, Instagram, or Goodreads um, to like make sure that we're able to communicate. And all of my social media will be linked down below as well. My Goodreads handle, my Instagram handle, and my email address will be left in the description. Um, yeah, so just don't forget, there's, um, I will have that document linked down below. All you gotta do is put in your name. Um, I also have a video where I describe how my buddy reads go, and I will also link that video down below. Because I know some people are so confused if you haven't watched that video and you're kind of coming into my channel new. <laughs> so yeah, once again, this concludes my June wrap up. I hope some of you join me in buddy reading some of this very daunting TBR next month. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.